Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Today in this short video lecture, I will guide you for this floor beam, especially its steel reinforcement details. So let's get started guys. First of all, I will tell you size of this beam. Depth is 14 inches, width is 9 inches. Three steel rods at the bottom, two at the top. Bottom is tension zone, where we have three steel rods, dia is 12 millimeter. Top is compression zone, where we have two steel rods, dia is 12 millimeter. Guys, you can see they did not provide the development length because this is the corner. So development length is very important to make a good bond between steel and concrete. Next guys, you can see the stirrup, which dia is 8 millimeter. Spacing is maximum here. So this is not the proper design. According to its structure load, guys, you can see hooks are bent on 90 degrees. So this is also one of the big mistakes for this beam design. Hooks you can see which are bent on 90 degrees. So the proper design is 135 degrees. So it should be provided on 135 degree and the length should be minimum 3 inches or 9 to 10 D where D is die of steel rod. Guys, you can see the spacing is from 9 to 10 inches. So this is not the proper design. So for this beam, which depth is here 14 inches. So this spacing should be uh, First of all, guys, I will also uh, uh, tell you for this. So the rainy water or sanitary pipe should not be run inside the column. This is also one of the big mistake. So therefore, guys, you can see the spacing of the stirrups. So spacing should be from 100 to 150 mm or from 150 to 200 mm. So this is the best design. Unfortunately, they did wrong. You can see the, uh, the rainy water pipe they provided inside the column. So this is not OK. Guys, you can see this is the other beam spacing. You can see 9 to 10 inches. So it should be from uh, to the distance of L by 4. It should be provided or it should be uh, placed with 4 inches minimum and uh, uh, 10 inches at the middle. Guys, you can see depth is 14 inches, width is 9 inches, 3 steel rods at the bottom, 2 at the top, dia is 12 millimeter, stirrups uh, dia is 8 millimeter. Guys, you can see. They will provide here they will link so here uh, they should provide the development length for this beam to make a good bond between a steel and concrete also it will make a good bond uh, with column next guys you can see you can't see any development length so development length is very important so it should its length should not be less than nine inches guys you can see here the stirrups should be provided alternately. Guys, you can see here they did not provide the stirrup inside this column. So it's important here because the spacing is about uh, 20 to 22 inches. Next, guys, you can see they provided six steel rods. Size is 9 by 12 inches for the column. Guys, you can see they provided two extra steel rods. So this is very important to resist negative bending moment. So this is okay next guys you can see they did not provide the development length again here which is very important spacing uh, normal problems you can see here a uh, spacing of stirrups hooks are bent on 90 degree which is uh, which should be provided on 135 degree three steel rods are okay at the bottom two at the top it's okay because this is a two-story domestic building guys you can see in the junction between beam and column, they should provide extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment. Also, they should not provide the uh, lapping length, especially at this place. So the lapping should be provided, uh, especially after L by 5. Guys, you can see they did not provide any development length. So here, guys, you can see they provided two steel rods, extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment to the distance of L by 4. So it's OK, guys. On the other uh, side, they should also provide here. They will provide absolutely. They will provide two extra steel rods for resist negative bending moment. So negative bending moment can make cracks. So to avoid cracks, we will place the uh, bent up bar or extra steel rods, guys, you can see here. Where we provide the extra steel rod, so the spacing should be closely, especially for stirrups. As you can see. Hope this video can help you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.
गुड बाय अच्छा जो सर सही